In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Silhouette Studio to create one file that can be exported to the Glowforge interface to both cut and engrave. Um, this is a llama design that I purchased from the Silhouette store. I ended up turning this into a cake topper over the weekend for my mother-in-law's birthday and hopefully um, the tips I give here will help you to do it much faster and easier than I was able to do it. Um, so the file here, like I said, I bought from Silhouette Studio. So if you were to go ahead and try to export this to use on your Glowforge, um, you'll notice that you would get a pop-up saying uh, there's an export restriction that if you continue, your design is going to show up as dotted uh, line segments. So if you were to hit OK um, and you went, went into the Glowforge, you would see your design is now in dotted lines and it's not usable. So that's what has happened if you're seeing that. Um, so the solution to that is to create a trace of the original design. So the first thing you want to do is fill your design with a color. Um, black is usually the best color to use because it's the darkest color and creates a better trace. So I went here to the color palette on the right hand panel um, and selected the black color. After that you want to go to the right hand panel over here and select the butterfly icon. Um, select trace area and draw a box around your image. The design will turn yellow, showing you how the lines are going to be traced. So that looks like all the lines that I want are represented in this yellow part. So I'm going to hit the trace button. You'll see the box disappear once it's done tracing. And now you have your original, which was the one in black. You can delete that. And now you have your traced image over here. Um, the next thing you want to do is to make your image into different segments. So sometimes you're going to be able to hit ungroup for that, but for this one ungroup is not an option, so I'm going to hit release compound path. And you can see now that it's changed each um, design into its own picture. So the part that I'm interested in is the outline. So I'm going to try to just select that part, which sometimes can be a little difficult, but there we go. Um, so this is the outermost portion of that design. That's the part that I'm going to want to cut out of my material. So for this, I'm going to fill the outline with a color. Green's my favorite color, so that's usually what I go with. Um, I haven't found that it matters, so pick your favorite color if you'd like. So, okay, now for the part that I want engraved, I'm just going to go ahead and group that back together so it's all one piece again. Um, if you are new to Silhouette because you are just learning it to use with your Glowforge, the easiest way to get these back together um, is to select both of them. And if you come up here uh, to this bar icon, click on the crosshairs and it will center everything back up. So again, what we just did was change the background color to green and then recenter everything together. And the next step you want to do is to now export it. Now I'm going to go ahead and save this as llama. And the most important part is you want to change the format down here to SVG. Um, you do have to have the business edition of Silhouette Studio to be able to export as SVG. I would recommend checking out swingdesign.com because for me it was cheaper to upgrade using that website um, versus downloading from Silhouette America. Um, I've already created this file earlier, so um, it's asking me if I want to replace it. That's all you would have to do in the Silhouette Studio, so now I'll show you how to import that to Glowforge. Um, sometimes it will pop up on the screen first, so you'll hit Upload, 
that will be my llama SVG file. Hit open and then it will process my design. And if you are watching this and you don't have a Glowforge yet, um, this is the area that's available to you once you create a username. And the black area, if my laser was on, you'd be able to see that that's the bed of my Glowforge. So if I had material in there, um, and if the Glowforge was on, you could see this better. So you would basically be able to put your image wherever on your material that you want it to go. You can see that I uploaded just the one llama SVG file and it has divided it into two separate um, designs over here, which is exactly what we wanted because we want to, well first I would say click your um, material over here. I use the proof grade medium clear acrylic that came with my Glowforge. Um, so I selected that. And then you want your outer design to cut and that's how it is set up already. But you wanted the inner part to um, engrave. So you can just click the engrave button there. And now the two separate functions are set up in your system and everything is lined up exactly how it should be. So at this point I would just put it wherever on my material and resize it however large I needed it to be. Um, and then I would go over here and click the print button. Um, after this was finished cutting, I went back to my Silhouette Studio and used um, adhesive vinyl to create the flowers, um, just to add some color to the clear acrylic as the cake topper. Um, it's not safe to cut the adhesive vinyl, so you shouldn't put adhesive vinyl on the pattern first and then put it in your Glowforge machine. I've heard that some HTV vinyl is okay to cut, but I just preferred to cut it on my silhouette machine since I already have the design, and then just uh, put it on the design after it was cut in the Glowforge. So that is easy. Um, <laughs> Unfortunately, it took me many, many hours to figure all that out, so hopefully this video will help someone be able to do it much more quickly. If you know of anything better to do, um, please let me know because I'm learning also. Thanks!